Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with uh, some new makeup products. I also found some really fun stuff over at Walgreens. And so this is what I found over at Walgreens. Isn't this fun for Halloween? I thought, yeah, I can go ahead and do a Day of the Dead kind of thing going on. And uh, with some, yeah, with some funky stuff. It would be a really fun look. So there we go. Now we got it working. So yeah, I think that it's a fun look. So again, I found this over at Walgreens. And um, if you're looking for something for Halloween, personally for right now, it's going back on my shelf. Like right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with what we're doing for makeup today. And let's see, as far as what I started with for my base, Revolution Skin Silk and F2, the Lumi Lotion and 902, which is their lightest color, and then the e.l.f. Bronzing Drops in Rose Gold. So that's what I have on for the base. I did go ahead and use a pretty fresh uh, concealer today. And then I also used um, Pretty Fresh's ColourPop and another ColourPop. I went ahead and used the Think Shade as far as the base for my blush today. Um, let's see, what else did I use? Oh, this is actually one of the Buttermilk face palettes. These are coming out for the holiday season from NYX. Buttermilk is the really popular formula. So basically you get three of these or three of the shades and um, I have this shade on right now um, I think that it's really working as far as the blush shade and then I did go ahead and pick up both of the buttermilk palettes again you can get these on the NYX website right now um, and I'm not sure which stores they're going into but this is a darker palette and then the lighter palette is going to be this one which is and so uh, these run for about 18 uh, usually with a buttermilk shade it runs at about $10 so it's basically buy two get one free and like I said I'm enjoying both of these palettes it is buttermilk formula the buttermilk blushes and so they're just really pretty uh, I also have on uh, one of the NYX buttermilk <clears throat> let's see bronzer and so um, yeah, and so this is the lightest color and first bronzer, and that's what I have on there. Mm. As far as what I went ahead and did for lips today, I went ahead and mixed the Just Because by ColourPop, and this is one of their Just a Tints, and then the Meta Glow by Essence, so that's the way that that kind of turned out today. The Essence uh, Make Me Brow as far as my brow tint and as far as what I went ahead and used for my uh, face or my eyeshadow today is going to be the Revolution True. Now this one is the Eternal Icon. So um, it's an icon series that they have. It's available over at Ulta. That's where I picked mine up. Mine have actually been in store which I really appreciate because I like being able to not have to order everything. And so, um, yeah, this is what I have on today. And I think this palette is really pretty. These two over here are actually cream shades and they have this little piece of plastic that has some sticky stuff on it. So you just peel it off, go ahead and use them, and then put this back on so the creams don't get any powder in them. I haven't used them today. I haven't used uh, these ones yet. Um, but what I did go ahead and use was I went ahead and used this one in the crease, this one in the outer corner, this one right under the brow, and then a mixture of this one, this green shimmer, and this green topper um, right on the lid itself. So I think it turned out really well. I also used a little bit of the uh, ColourPop eyeliner as well and um, let's see the Essence Volume Stylist uh, Curl and Hold is what I have on as far as my mascara today 
and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I think they've changed their formula, and these are actually, this color store is just amazing. And even, like I said, I picked this up in um, Alta, and as I was checking out, people were looking at this palette and going, oh, that's really cool. And I don't think any, I think every, it was just, um, this is a really good color story, this one. And this one is the Eternal Icon. The one that I think started this was a dupe or an inspired palette, um, and it's this one, and it's inspired from the Patrick Ta. So uh, yeah, this is, uh, and so this one was the first one that I picked up, and again, you get the two cream shades, so you, um, and let's see if I can go ahead and take the plastic. So that's what the two cream shades look like. Personally, with cream shades, um, what I've done is gone ahead and used them as a base for eyeshadow. Um, but like I said, I'm really liking this formula. It does have some micro glitter in there, but not to the point where at the end of the day, it's going to be, you know, all along right under your eye. Uh, with this formula, there is some in there. It does give you a little bit of twinkle, but it doesn't tend to go down your face. And I really don't mind that that much, um, but I know that there are some people that do. So um, again, I think this is the palette that started it all. There are four palettes all together. I have three of those palettes, and again, they are over at Ulta. And um, this is the Enchanted Icon. And let me go ahead and show you this one. So um, this is the Enchanted one. This is actually an eyeshadow here. And so it has a pink and a purple. Um, but again, it has the two shades over here that are the cream. And a really pretty, another really pretty color story. Uh, definitely some different formulas. and. We're all kind of wondering if um, Revolution is now using the BH Cosmetics formulas. They bought BH Cosmetics a couple of years ago. And so, yeah, I'm finding all sorts of, uh, uh, yeah, did not expect to find these out there. And I'm glad that I did because these color stories are just really pretty. And the formulas are good. I mean, Definitely good, not just good for revolution, just plain good. So, would highly recommend any of these. They run at about $12 a piece, so that's what uh, those are. And um, again, the Buttermelt uh, Formula by NYX, and these are their holiday palettes, really good as well. Most everything in this particular, um, yeah, just have really enjoyed a whole bunch of the palettes that I found lately. And um, here's the way that this one worked out. So um, yeah, I think that's probably the video for today. And found all sorts of fun stuff. And so I thought I'd go ahead and share. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll go ahead and see you later. Bye.